Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and I'm so excited. I'm back to teach you five awesome tricks you could do with your cell phone. So without further ado, hit that like button and stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be doing an epic giveaway. Let's do this. Before I share the secret to these five awesome magic tricks, I gotta say thanks to today's video sponsor, AF Mobile. They're a prepaid cellular service provider offering discounted phone service for only $45 for unlimited everything. You could also earn free phone service if you sign up with them. Click the link in the video description for more details. Imagine somebody thinking of a card or they choose a freely chosen card. You give them your phone, they attempt to unlock it, and it just turns on your phone. Obviously it's still locked and you have them touch the screen and the phone turns into an animation and reveals their chosen card. Let me show you how to do it. Now, most of you are probably familiar with live photos. If I turn on live photo and take a picture, the end result is just a photo, but it has some video before and after that exact moment. So this is what it looks like. Let's say I take a picture of me holding a card and I'm moving around a little bit. Well, when you preview the photo, it's just me holding the card, no big deal. But if you put your finger on the screen and hold, it turns into a small animation. Well, here's the trick. You take a video of a prediction, a playing card, anything you want, take a picture of it and then do a reveal. Make that the background of your lock screen. Let me show you a little more specifically what I'm talking about. You could take a picture of yourself holding a card. And as soon as you take the picture, turn this card over to reveal that queen of hearts. Now that's the entire sequence. Let's look at that photo. The photo is just the back of a card. But if you hold your finger over it, it animates it and shows that reveal. So what you want to do is go into your settings and find where your screen savers are. So I have one for my lock screen and my background. Where your lock screen is, you're gonna choose the photo you just picked. So now when you instruct someone to open your phone, of course it will remain locked, but the background here will still be a live photo to create this awesome reveal. Now, of course, you can record yourself turning over a piece of paper for a prediction or reveal of some sort. Comment down below and let us all know some other ideas you may have come up with. If you dig these simple magic tricks with everyday objects, smash that like button so I can continue to make more videos for you. For this classic idea, all you're gonna need is a deck of cards and your phone. Let's do this. Have a friend shuffle up some cards and then deal onto the table and stop whenever they want. They keep dealing until they want to stop. And once they stop, you put your phone on top and you mark the cards so you cannot cheat. And unbeknownst to them, you have forced the card you want, in this case, the King of Diamonds. How do you do this? How do you force any card? The solution is so simple. You're gonna have this card already behind your phone just sitting here minding its own business. No one will see it because it'll be face down on the table. And at this point, your friend can deal to their heart's content. When they stop, of course, you're just going to add on the secret card right on to their card saying that that's where you're gonna mark it. You remove it, and of course, there is the forced card. And you can guess their card or predict it, have it written down somewhere, or you can even use this effect I taught you, and have the animation on your phone reveal their chosen card. Imagine the power of this. You have your friend select a card. Then you take your phone, you wave your hand, and their chosen card appears on your screen. But then you proceed to take their card right off the screen. This is one of my classic magic tricks using your phone's camera. I'm just doing it with a card trick versus making objects appear. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is use three photos. One is black, one is a picture of the card on black, and another photo is black. Here's why. It's gonna appear as if your phone is off, but it's not. Check this out. This is just a black screen in your photos. That's a black image. There's an image of a playing card, and here's another black image. The reason you do this is because it can look like your phone is off, and you could wave your hand over the phone while sliding your thumb and making a card appear. That's the appearance of the card. To pull out the card, it's a very simple task because you have the duplicate behind your phone, 
And it's a very simple thing to secure that card with one of your free fingers on the back. Then from here, all you have to do is pull. You're pulling this card as you're sliding this image to that next black screen. And together it creates this illusion. Pretty cool. So now maybe you're thinking, wait, I didn't pick a king of diamonds. So here's the real trick. You're gonna have this behind your phone as a duplicate card. And then with a regular deck, you're gonna force that king of diamonds on them in any fashion you want. Then say, let me see if I can make this card appear. Just like the other effects, it's only limited to your imagination. Please comment down below and share other reasons you would have a card appear in your phone. Now, of course, if you don't know how to force a card, one simple way is using the technique I already taught you. But if you want some awesome ways to force cards, look around my channel. I have taught you many methods of forcing cards. This is an awesome way to freak out and impress your friends. What you do is give them your phone and have them take a picture of you holding a small object, a playing card, a piece of paper, nothing. And then in your phone, it changes to whatever you want. Here's how you do it. Let's say I have you take a picture of me holding nothing. All right, you took a picture of me holding nothing. Let's go into my camera roll and take a look. Oh my gosh, look at that. I am holding a playing card. You can have a piece of paper and have them think of something. And then in the photo, it's a prediction. You can have someone holding a particular card and have someone else pick a card. They go back to the photo and the person that you just took a picture of is holding someone else's card they thought of. You can switch this any way you want. All you are doing is taking a photo previously holding something and then swapping it for another photo. So I bring up that photo by going to my camera roll. I look at the last photo. I do not want to show you that. I secretly switch it and then I hand you the phone. There's so many things you could do with this. I will just say that if you don't want to have to do the dirty work and you want to have a spectator be able to take any photo and it happens in their hand, that is the ultimate goal. So you can get my app, Trick Picks, which does all this stuff for you. You can do multiple photos. It is really cool because you can have anything in the environment change. You can have your photo taken like this. They take the photo, they look at the preview, and you are now wearing completely different clothes or holding something in your hand. People can be naked. You can have card switch, prediction. You could do anything. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It's called Trick Picks. And that's it. Let's move on to the next one. This next trick reminds me of this old gag where you fold a dollar into thirds and you balance it on your fingertips and you can let one hand go completely free. Now I'm going to be able to do this with my phone and the phone version of this does not require the secret nickel. For those who don't know this trick, here's a bonus for you. What you do is you secretly fold a nickel inside the bill about at the point where there's the pyramid on the back of the one, you're gonna put your thumbs and fingers equal distance apart. Then you're gonna slowly lift your top fingers and then bring your other hand away and the bill balances on your finger. What's really cool about this is you could let the coin drop into your hand and then give out this dollar bill. So of course we're gonna use your phone instead because this is called five awesome tricks with your phone. So what you're gonna do is hold it in the exact same way, fingers underneath and on top. And then when you're ready, you can start to let your fingers all go and it will levitate on the very tip of one finger on the very back edge. How do you do it? Well, there is a secret gimmick right here. Coming out the bottom hole of your phone is a loop of fishing line. I'll show you up close exactly how it's constructed. You can put any finger into it, even your thumb. Just put your thumb through it and then your phone can then balance on the very tip of your thumb. How cool is that? For this one, it does require that you have a phone case on your phone and I'll get yourself some clear fishing line and you're good to go. So take off your screen protector and you're gonna find a spot to hook in a string on one end and it's gonna go through the other end. You're gonna pull a loop right through the end where your speaker or charging jack hole is. I'm gonna tie a loop of this string around one end. I'm gonna put a string through one of the holes on the end and I'm gonna put a loop right here. And what I would suggest is loop this around something quite a bit bigger than your finger and tie a knot and you'll have a loop sticking out the end of your phone. 
reattach your phone. Now you have this secret gimmick you can stash under your phone case and pull it out when you desire, or just tuck it under when you're ready to perform. Stick your middle finger through the hole until it reaches your middle knuckle. From here, you should be able to hold both ends of your phone and then release while your phone hovers, apparently balanced on one fingertip. How cool is that? Now to hide the gimmick, just slide your thumb out and hold it on the back side so it can't be seen. And from casual appearances, there looks to be nothing wrong or gimmicked with your phone. Of course, when you're all done, you can open up your case and tuck this little string back up inside and no one will ever know and it's always there ready for you to do the solution. All right, guys, I told you I was gonna do a giveaway at the end. All you gotta do to be eligible is make sure you're a subscriber, comment down below, and please share this video with all your friends. I'm gonna give away a pack of my Ferguson playing cards along with a packet of tricks. You can do to fool your friends. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. Please, once again, check the description for the links to my sponsor, to my app. Please share this with all your friends. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next week. Peace.